just, let me just, let me do like uh, what happened afterwards. But yeah, check out Cloud9, man. What's up, guys? This is Justin here. Don't know which camera to look at. I'm here with my good pal here, Charles. And uh, if you remember, if you watched the vlog where we covered the Novotel suites, the title was like, how could this possibly be vanilla? They had just like these amazing towers and it uh, had so much the amenities, one of the biggest gyms I've ever seen. So I thought Charles was a super interesting guy. So what I decided to actually do was like, hey, dude, can I sit down with you for 15 to 20 minutes in a coffee shop and just ask you some questions? Because he kind of told me a little bit about his background last time I was here and uh, I found it pretty interesting. So I wrote down some questions I'm gonna ask them and then uh, we're gonna just see where it goes. We got some food in the works and <laughs> so one of the things I wanted to ask you that I didn't ask you last time was yeah. basically this. So let's just start off with the basics. Like what is your age and what is your heritage? Right, so uh, I'm currently 23 years old. Um, I'm half Filipino, half Swedish. My mom is Filipino and my dad's Swedish. So, but I was born in Sweden. I was never born in Philippines, so I never got to experience the Filipino culture. Nice. Are you yeah. a dual citizen right now? or? Uh, I'm getting my Filipino passport in two months. Yeah. Wow, yeah. how cool is that? Yeah. It's going to have you a dual citizen. Yeah. That's so awesome. So how did your how did your mom and dad meet? So they met in Boracay in, I think, 1995. Whoa. Around that, yeah. And they nice. had me at 1999, so. They had you in 1999. That's yeah. so cool, man. Yeah. Wow, I actually met, uh, yeah, I met my girlfriend in Filipino Cupid, so. You know, 2022 modern technology, but yeah. it's all good. So it's nice to have a story yeah. like that. Uh, so what other countries have you like been to just traveling casually or have actually lived in and spent some time in? Right, so I've been uh, all across the world to be honest, but the country that countries I've lived in is in Sweden, Abu Dhabi in US, and now of course Philippines here. Nice. So I've been around the block. You know? That's so cool. Yeah. Teach me something about Sweden. And I, I, you, a United States person, probably wouldn't know because right. I've been. I have not been to Sweden. Okay. I have not been to Dubai yet, but I want to eventually go there for sure because you just you have to. Yeah. At least experience at least once. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are some interesting things about Sweden? Uh, Sweden is a very unique country in terms of like their culture and the way people act. You know, it's very. A lot of people are introverts there compared to like Americans. They're very extroverts. Yeah. So everyone's kind of in their own bubble, and you know, everyone's to themselves. But the. Uh, Everyone's really kind there, you know, everyone nice. takes care of each other, you know, everyone has a good support system in their own groups, in their own circles. So, nice. Yeah. What it, kind of uh, sports they play in Sweden? Uh, mostly hockey. hockey. We're known for hockey, you gotcha. know, it's always cold there, so there's always time to play <laughs> hockey. Nice. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah. How's the food? What's the cuisine like over there? So traditionally, uh, obviously, if you know the Swedish national cuisine, it's meatballs and potatoes. You've probably uh, you've seen it in Croatia. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. But it's very, you know, simple dishes, you know, Sweden doesn't have really of a crazy agriculture since it's most of the time it's cold, but, gotcha. you know, they kind of use what they have to make it their own dish. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah I know my, uh, I have, a, I had a great grandmother from Poland originally, and she uh, would always make Swedish meatballs, which was something that right. I, I was just thinking about when he was explaining like, the Swedish meatballs thing with Sweden and I Ikea. Yeah, I've been an Ikea yeah. customer for a long time. and. Uh, how do you say hi or whatever? It's like hey, hey, hey. hey. Yeah, it's hey, like hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's with a J at the end, so. Yeah, hey with a J. Yeah. Is that a kid? Uh, yeah. That's so cool, man. Yeah. Love it. What made you want to test out Manila? I mean, I think I had, yeah, let me just let you answer. I had a thought, but yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What made you want to test out or try out the Manila yeah. lifestyle? Yeah, well, you know, I've been living in Sweden, US, but since I'm half Filipino, I've never actually lived in Philippines. I've always come here for like vacations. Gotcha. Went to Boracay, Palawan. And uh, I really want to test out the waters in Philippines, you know, the nice. culture. Because I, I don't think I really got to experience the true Filipino culture just visiting here yeah. for vacation. For so sure. being able to, to live here is a completely different world. Nice. It gives me different type of cultures that I haven't learned before. So, yeah, so far it's been so good. Nice. Yeah. So uh, what kind of, how many languages do you actually speak? Being a... So I speak three languages, the Swedish, because oh. I was born there, yeah. and English and Spanish. I'm wow. cur currently learning Tagalog. Nice. Yeah, well, I'm here, so. Yeah, yeah so, yo hablo un poco español. Yeah. Well. I took it for uh, three years when oh, I was in high okay, school. Okay, cool, so I cool. can keep up a little bit if the yeah. person talking to me speaks a little bit slow and I can just pinpoint the uh, the adjectives or the verbs yeah, or whatever, yeah. 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 No, that's, that's no dope, same. Man. I learned in high school as well in college. So, nice. Yeah. So three languages. Trilingual. My girlfriend actually can speak three languages. She oh, self-taught really? herself English, yeah. Okay. And uh, obviously, of course, she had to learn Tagalog because mm -hmm. she her base language, her native language is actually Visayan. Okay, yeah, She yeah. tells me it's totally different than Tagalog. So, okay, I'll take your yeah, word for it. Yeah, it is because uh, my mom is actually from Cebu, so they uh -huh. also speak Visaya there too. Gotcha. Yeah, so she speaks Visaya, Tagalog, and it is, it is somewhat different, but okay. some of the words are just... Some of the words yeah. are the same. Yeah, okay. similar. I, I figured there might be a little bit of yeah. overlap. There yeah. has to be some similarity. I mean, yeah. Definitely. 
That's so cool, man. Yeah, so yeah. Studying languages is always something that's fun. People have been encouraging me to study Tagalog. Yeah, and I'm you like, should. Yeah, I have so many skill sets that I've been learning, and I'm like trying to make sure that there's, I have enough. It's not like I don't have enough space in my brain. It's just like the energy and the time of the day just doing everything right, so i'm learning right. a lot of like video editing techniques and stuff like that but yeah i think i can commit to an hour a day to learn tagalog yeah and stuff, yeah so. i mean i have an app and i used to 15 minutes per day and ah. uh yeah i just try to like use that throughout the day just to practice and even though if you make mistakes you, they, they're very kind here you know they won't make fun of you <laughs> yeah, yeah sure. they will definitely try to like help with grammar and stuff like that try to improve your tagalog so from experience i think you know learning tagalog here was it's been good so far yeah, nice yeah yeah, I, I tried like the Pimsleur approach once with uh, Italian and I felt like that was cool because like okay. there was like two people speaking like conversations that right. were like could speak it in the native tonality. Okay. So you get like, so if you're actually in the country and you listen to conversations and they break down like what each person is saying back and forth to kind of allow your brain to learn the language based off of actual conversations rather than this is what this word means. But uh, um, okay, yeah. what's the name of that app if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, it's called Drops. Yeah, Drops. you can find it on the app store. Sweet, man. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty pretty useful yeah. yeah 15 minutes a day i can commit to that's, yeah that's exactly no problem. yeah yeah there's no excuse for that so yeah. uh but yeah kind of pacing the conversation oh, it looks like we got some food coming out yeah. sweet very nice very nice so you currently live and work right here in manila at the novotel suites is that correct uh so i work at a real estate company our family's real estate company here so we have uh couple units here and we just lease them out to clients gotcha so yeah one of our units is in Novotel so I don't directly work for Novotel but Copy. we have a couple of units there that we uh, lease out to clients nice yeah, yeah yeah and that's that's how we met guys when I came here to do the vlog and uh, yeah that's so cool there's a lot of um, I have a lot of like natural interest in real estate right and that's why I've kind of made that like one of the bigger topics on my channel because uh, living in Arizona I was I had my real estate license in Arizona okay. yeah and I, I had um, bought myself uh two houses and i've since sold them and they were just like single family homes but okay. I, I was able to rent them out and uh that was a lot of fun yeah yeah and, yeah the real estate scene here is definitely interesting because being in manila in the capital of the philippines it's more of like the, the urban style stuff so i've been touring like obviously you guys saw in the vlogs like a lot of condominiums and stuff like that but i want to start looking at some of the older buildings perhaps and start mm. looking at some of these uh the uh, options on exact islands like land and stuff like that yeah. do you have any experience in those kind of areas as yeah well? there's actually like a famous place called intramuras i don't know if you know it yes it's in like have you been there or? yeah i actually yeah. have been there so, yeah. yeah those are pretty old you know you can definitely tell the difference between those type of buildings and the current buildings now they're very european and makes sense because philippines was colonized by spain yes. a couple hundred years ago exactly so, yeah you definitely get Thank a feel you. of history there once you go there Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No, it was a beautiful place to yeah. go check out. One heck of a nice day trip. They had the guys, uh, that's where I bought this bracelet actually. Oh really? Yeah, they had a vendor selling bracelets. I, I like, and uh, they had really good ice cream there. But aside from those other things, the, the actual place was fantastic. It was really well maintained and uh, wonderful day trip, beautiful structures there. Yeah. And, uh, definitely something yeah. I would recommend for sure. Magnificent structures. 100%. So did you ever go to college or university and study or anything? Or? Yeah, so I attended Indiana University in the US so ah. yeah so I was there for four years oh wow and uh, after that I decided to move to Philippines yeah cool what uh, what do you study I study environment and sustainability nice so yeah a little completely different from real estate Not and, entirely. yeah yeah some somewhat yeah. yeah but I also work for Ayala Ayala land oh, which nice. is for sale so I do sell like real estate for that company as well nice. kind, of, kind of a side thing though copy that yeah yeah, that's cool, man. So what is uh, what is like your average like day or week kind of look like kind of like living and working here in this country, right? in the city? Yeah. yeah, so for Ayala, I usually have to attend meetings in the morning. And uh, the beautiful, beautiful thing about our real estate company here is that we can work online. You know, all our clients are from website like RentPad and other yep. leasing websites that we can use to lease our units. So it's pretty flexible in terms of the uh, you know work-life balance yeah so that's what i really like you know i can have my have time for myself and also be able to work you know yeah you know? yeah that's awesome man and uh my goodness this is one of the places that was huge for me with considering for my next possible move because the location's pretty good and also the amenities were just off the charts and it reminded me a lot of uh, a resort style theme of before when i was like in cancun it had like right. those types of vibes and stuff yeah. that was 
Yeah, it's just super Cancun's nice. beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. I've been there, so, so you've yeah. been there, you've been to the, the Cancun. And Cancun, Tulum. Tulum, oh, Tulum area. Tulum's my favorite place on Earth. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. what other countries? You said Dubai, you've been to Mexico. Tulum is one of your favorite places. Thank you. Yeah, um, so it's, it's too many countries, but the main countries that I like are Mexico. It was a really good yeah, experience. For sure. I really like Thailand, Croatia, Greece. Most of Europe I've been to because I'm Swedish oh, nice. and uh, if you have a EU passport, you can really travel anywhere in Europe. So yeah, yeah, that is so cool, man. So how long do you think you're gonna stay in the Philippines? Do you have like a? Are you gonna just maybe uh, go with the flow and just kind of sample it, or you, do you have like a set period of time where you think you're gonna be here approximately? Right. Um, so we definitely have a couple units still being built. So I still have to take care of those. So. I think they're gonna be built in the next two, three years. Okay. So around that, but I can definitely see myself living here five, plus six, seven years, you know. Nice. I, I'm really liking Philippines so far. Awesome. There's a culture and yeah. the hus hospitality is great. You oh, know? Awesome. Everyone's treating you like family. Yeah. Even though you're strangers, really. 100%. Yeah, it's very different culture compared to other places in the world. Yeah. Yeah. No, I 100% agree, man. I uh, I love the hospitality here. People are so warm and uh, friendly and yeah. accommodating. And uh, English is like widely spoken here, so it just makes it easy to get around and travel. And uh, the city is developing at a pretty fast pace. They're always building more stuff. And uh, I, I feel like infrastructure is slowly but surely being improved. Um, I think they're adding a new rail station and uh, they're talking about building a subway. And uh, they're building like these new places that you guys may have, may or not have saw, like Bridgetown and Park Links, and they already got BGC, of course, and yeah, of course. the county yeah. area is beautiful. So, but yeah, I think I'm probably going to be here long term for sure. I have a, a relationship with uh, right. a woman here, so that's a big factor, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. But being that they, they speak English here, something I love. I don't mind the climate uh, pretty much like at all, uh, because yeah. coming from New York, pretty much anywhere is an improvement. Uh, what do you think in terms of the weather, Sweden compared to the Philippines? Um, definitely shook me about how much it rains here. So I was here during like the rainy season and yeah. it was raining every day, which, you know, that definitely was a different, you know, environment for me. But in terms of weather, it's amazing. You're getting consistent 30 plus degrees, which is beautiful. Yeah. For someone that lived in Sweden, which is basically in the Arctic Circle, right. and it's cold most, most of the time of the year. Yeah. You know, coming here, the weather for me has surprised me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. So overall, you think it's an improvement? Oh, definitely an improvement. Definitely yeah. Improvement. Yeah, for me, uh, living in Arizona, Arizona is really nice overall, except in the summer. The, those months, it's really, it gets really hot. But uh, overall, I, I like the weather. I think I've adjusted to it uh, just fine. So what are your thoughts on the, um, the cost of living, Sweden versus Philippines, as far as housing, food, travel, transportation, and stuff like that? Yeah, so definitely cost of living is uh, much cheaper here, which I like. Uh, compared to Sweden. Also, in terms of, you know, affording groceries, food, it's very affordable. Uh, you're able to survive on, you know, a small budget, which helps for me, you know, a young person. Yeah. So I don't have much money at the time. <laughs> yeah, of course. Not yet, but... Still building. Still building my career, so... No, definitely it being affordable, it helps me out, basically. Love it, sure. man. Uh, what kind of, for, for expats who might be watching this, who are interested in retiring here or coming here uh, to live, uh, what kind of budget in pesos and U.S. dollars comes to your mind? Do you think can have a, a pretty like a mid-range, mid-market, mid-range kind of quality of life here? What do you What do you think, in your opinion, um, we would probably be looking at for income? Someone would want to be able to to live here comfortably. Yeah, uh, I definitely think that you know being an expat, you know, it helps co coming to the Philippines because the yeah. currency is different. Yeah. And uh, you know, if you have dollars, you know, you can convert to pesos. You know, because dollars are pretty pretty strong right now. Definitely advice, you know, expect to live here, you know, it's kind of scary. For me, it was scary moving here, you know, I was kind of scared of like, oh, what's going to happen and that, this and that. But, you know, the transition was pretty, pretty good. You know, I was able to transition pretty fast and, you know, get into my rhythm and schedule nice. with life. So, yeah. Yeah. How has uh, it been for you from like a social point of view? Have you been able to like uh, kind of like make friends on site and off site and kind of like meet locals and maybe other foreigners or how's that been for you? Yeah, of course, you know. Since English is a wide spoken language here, everyone speaks English. So the communication is not too hard, you know, yeah. compared to other countries where English is not spoken as much. So, you know, I'm able to go to the bars and make friends like that, you know, just with locals, right. with expats, with international. And it's very international, uh, especially if you go to Poblacion, you know, you meet a lot of new people from yeah. around the world which is amazing, you know, I get to learn their story and how they ended up here in Manila. Yeah, yeah. that's so much fun, man. For yeah. me, I have to personally work on that more. I have met a few people through YouTube who reached out to me and I made some good buddies like that so far and just through collaborations. And uh, 
But yeah, and I have my girlfriend, of course, who I spend a ton of time with. But yeah, I need to kind of also consider doing that more myself. But um, yeah, man, any plans to visit any of the other islands at some point in the future? Yeah, I was thinking of going to Shergao soon. I heard it's a pretty cool island, very relaxing. Nice. Uh, I've been to like Palawan, Cebu, and Mindanao. And, but I haven't been to Shergao, so that's on my bucket list. Sweet. And, yeah, everyone's telling me to go, so. Nice. Yeah, they have a good surfing spot there, so yeah, I, I really like surfing. Oh, you're a surfer. Yeah, I, yeah. I would probably love that. I, yeah. I need to get involved with surfing. I was I did snowboarding, skateboarding, okay, yeah. like water skiing and stuff. So yeah, it's pretty similar. Wakeboarding, <laughs> it's gotta be. Yeah, you probably pick it up pretty fast. Huh? I hope so. Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. If I have a good instructor or if, yeah, uh, of course. Yeah, if someone gives me good advice and shares their experience and perspective i'll pick it up quick yeah, sure, man. for sure for sure but uh and uh charles how do you pronounce your last name it's Marilyn. it's a swedish last name swedish so. last Marilyn. name Marilyn. okay i, I was... like Marilyn. Marilyn. yeah yeah Marilyn. Oh, Marilyn. Uh, yeah i love yeah. it i love the analogy it's yeah, something yeah, like yeah. an american would do kind of like Marilyn. yeah exactly that's what most people say it's kind of yeah. like Marilyn. copy all right cool so we're back from our lunch break and we actually started talking about we kind of changed the pace of the conversation because uh we were talking about ages and where we both kind of were at different ages and I just told him that I just told Charles I recently turned 31 he's like oh dude I thought you were 24 yeah. we started talking about um like resveratrol and uh, like some of the things that I do differently is I uh I take resveratrol like every day like one like a quarter of a gram to a half a gram and I have kale every day in a smoothie so I do kale every day in a smoothie resveratrol and I take some other supplements as well but um I think those are probably two of the core things that really help being 23 years old in Manila that's yeah. obviously a, a super cool age. I was telling him like, man, I wish I was aware of like what was possible with traveling different countries at this age. And uh, yeah, I mean like most of my friends there in the US and uh, I try to like get out of my comfort zone. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm the only one that is in Asia. So nice. So yeah, I really want to get out of my comfort zone, try new things, try new experiences. Yeah. And I thought Philippines is a great place. You know, For I am sure. half Filipino. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to learn Tagalog as well. I'm slowly learning. Yep. Yeah, so I'm picking it up pretty quickly. And yeah, I just feel like Philippines is a great way to start my new chapter of life. Dude, for yeah. sure. Speaking of comfort zones, have you heard of the uh, the Cloud 9 thing in Antipolo? The zip, uh, it's not like they have like a zip line at this bridge you can walk across? Where is that? Exactly? It's like an, it's like 45 minutes to like an hour. Oh, okay. They're like grab ride from here and... Okay. Uh, Pretty familiar. I feel like I've heard it before. Yo, you it put yeah. me way out of my comfort zone. Yeah? I, I recommend you try it. Yeah. yeah I, uh, I, I tried vlogging it and I had to like cut the vlog out mid-vlog because I was... <laughs> I was I was nervous. Yeah. Like I had to put my phone away. Really? Like, All right, let me just let me just let me do like uh, what happened afterwards. But yeah, check out Cloud Nine, man. Yeah. It's uh, what it is is like this bridge you walk across to get to this like really high vantage point, and there's just like this killer 360 degree like panoramic view right. of like the Manila from like a distance. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I would you know I would definitely suggest is that. Is it through a jungle or is it just straight line? Uh, what, the line? You don't really have to go through a jungle. You just kind of like right. drive up this giant hill. Right. And then once you get there, uh, there's like a restaurant built up there. Okay. And then like they, they have like uh, just a bunch of people like um, that can like tell you what's going on. Like they have a muse a little museum, a restaurant. And then they have like this giant thing you can walk across. That's the scary but fun part. Right. So right. you just you walk across this giant thing, and then like you can the view is just crazy. Right. Right. And, I don't, and it's not very expensive. I don't even remember what I paid, but it was it was one of the most fun things I've done so far in Philippines mm -hmm. because it, it's, I slipped way out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And then I had some San Miguel lights afterwards and some yeah. really good calmar yeah, or something. So <laughs> yeah, man. You get to reward yourself for that. Yeah, such a good day. What are some other ways to get outside of your comfort zone in uh, Philippines, do you think? Uh, definitely interacting with, you know, the locals. I could easily just be in my place at home and just stay at home all day. But I feel like just getting out there, trying to like, you know what I do, learn Tagalog, you know, even though if I make mistakes. No, I don't. I don't. Really, I don't really mind. And they help you. They're very friendly about that. So they help you correct your mistakes. Really, just getting out there, trying to talk to people. Yeah. Getting uh, getting to know more people. For sure. Yeah. So I 100% agree with him. I think one of the best ways for me as well to get out of my comfort zone is definitely going to be to uh, start talking with people in their native language as well, not just English. Yeah. And um, yeah, basically just trying to see what their stories are and see like what life's been like for them and like what an average day in their life looks like. It's just, um, it's so great to have so many perspectives. It's so useful because you just don't really know how things are unless you ask, you yeah. know? So yeah, right behind us is actually the Pasig River right behind us in this, this coffee shop that we're in. And uh, Charles was telling me before, uh, how much was it to go across the- uh, It's just five pesos. Yeah, and you can take a boat right across and you're in Rockwell, so. Yeah, I might try that on the way home. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I should try it. Where, yeah. Do I have to like go to a specific part? Yeah, you have to go down the street a little bit and then you would see on your left a little, like a boathouse or 
place. You, you'll see it. You won't miss it. Full house on the left down yeah, there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just keep going down the street. Sweet, man. Yeah, or you man. can just ask for Ryan, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can work on that. 100%. Yeah. For sure, man. Oh, my goodness. Well, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for your yeah. time, man. All right, this was Charles uh, Charles Maryland. Just kidding, Maryland. Uh, thanks for your time, brother. Yeah, this no was problem. a lot of fun. I can't wait to do more collaborations yeah, with other sure. fun and interesting people sure. who are half Filipino. Yeah. And, uh, but just have other just people who have cool stories. So yeah. if you have, uh, if you guys are at all interested, reach out to me if uh, you feel like you'd like to have a, a powwow chat session like this. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Okay.